Hey guys, I want to tell you about something that happened at Blade Show. Um, and when you hear about this, it's going to make your blood boil. Whether you uh, liked my t-shirt or hated my t-shirt, like me or hate me, um, we have uh, one of our dealers, he had a knife on a table and it got stolen by somebody. Um, I had heard of one or two grab and dashes while we were at the show. Um, we're going to show you a picture of the knife now. It's going to pop up here. If you see this knife out in the wilds popping up for sale anywhere, it's stolen. It belonged to Al at um, As Kickers. And if you guys do run across this knife, if you see it pop up for sale, Blade Forums or anywhere else, um, we may not get the knife back. We've been pretty good in the past at getting knives back, but um, we'll definitely uh, be able to kind of out the person selling it and we may be able to thwart the purchase somehow. So somebody's gonna maybe unknowingly, unwittingly buy a stolen knife. Most of those people don't want it either. So let's see if we can get somebody to do the right thing and use this uh, very cool connected community of ours in knife world. Uh, see if we can get somebody to round this knife up, uh, round this uh, knife up and get it back to its rightful owner. And uh, you know, this kind of stuff happens and uh, I've never minded disagreeing with people, but if someone steals from you, I want to just give them a lead injection. It's very frustrating. And adults doing this are broken. And uh, I don't know what you do with them. You put them out to pasture. I think, I think I, maybe for adults who steal stuff, I think they're so broken, you just disappear them. If you're not going to disappear them, you know what you could do? You could whoop them. Like, I, this, someone's going to be upset about this, but I would not mind tying up somebody who got caught stealing and giving them a good lashing. Because you can teach a 30-year-old who steals a lesson if you whoop them. You know, stealing from someone is stealing their life. Because let's say they make 50 bucks an hour and they have a $1,500 knife you steal. That's 30 hours. It's three quarters of a modern work week that they traded their life for that time to get that thing. And then you take it from them. You stole their life. So I think a whooping for life being taken, I think it seems kind of fair. So short of a whooping, since it's 2022 and we're not gonna do that, I think, um, I think we ought to bust the guy. What would be even better, and we've only been able to do this once before, is if we find the knife where it's for sale and we set up a purchase and then we get the police involved and we bust them. Even if they can't actually get brought to court to just have that moment where they go, oh, this is risky. I think that would be kind of cool too. So here's a picture of the knife again, check it out. And if you guys, if you see it out in the wilds, you can reach me at my cell phone, 480-227-2399 and if you find it, Text me, let me know you found it with a screenshot of where you got it from or a link. And I'll get on it and we'll get Deputy Dog involved and I'll send out my people and we'll burn down their, I mean, uh, we'll take care of it.